Michael's Richard Game Reviews, and this week I'm reviewing Strider. Right, the plot of this game. This is, this is set in a futuristic world, and the main location is in Russia, which is quite interesting actually for a game. Now, you play Helu, who is an A-class ninja. Now, it's, it's taken upon him to destroy the Grand Master, who is essentially enslaving everyone and not being a very good person. This is a really cool game. I've been playing this a very long time ago as a kid on the Amstrad CPC 464. It was actually a pretty good port of the game. Not arcade perfect, but it was pretty decent. Now, this game was made by Capcom and it's literally one of the earliest hits Capcom had in the arcade before Street Fighter 2. Now, the arcade game came out in 1989, and this has been ported over so many times. I mean, it was ported over to the computers, and it was on the Commodore Amiga, the Amstrad CPC 464, the Atari ST, the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, and, in Japan only, it was, re in, it was released on the X68000. Console ports. The first port of this game literally came out a very short time after the main arcade version, and that was on the NES, which was a very different different game, but pretty cool. But up for a long period of time, the most faithful port was on the Mega Drive, which was actually made by Sega themselves. And then about two years later, it was ported onto the Master System. And then in '94 there was a really interesting version done for the PC Engine. Now that particular version used the arcade card, and the arcade card was really something special. It made the game look almost arcade perfect. How it worked was the arcade card, you plugged it into your Turbo Graphics, and it gave the Turbo Graphics the equivalent of 18 megabits of RAM. Now that is a lot. The game also was a bonus disc on Strider 2, on the second disc you actually played the original game on the PlayStation, and then there was compilation discs. You had the Capcom Classics Remix for the PSP, and then later it was on the Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2 for the PS2 and Xbox. Now, about this game, though, it is a really interesting game. Not only is it a brilliant arcade game, but if you look at sort of 2D beat em ups or 2D side scrolling games, before Strider, there were two kinds, in my opinion. There were the ones where you had a weapon, and literally, you jump, you attack right, you attack left, that's about it. Or, the run and gun ones, where you run across, and you shoot either to your right, your left, up, and if you're lucky, even do the corners as well. This game is really interesting, because one, it's a combination of slashing and jumping. And the jumping was done at an angle which meant that every time you attack an enemy, it was always being done at an angle. Plus you could hang from the ceiling or from pillars and attack that way. And it was really great, because at first, it's like, this is really interesting. But later in the game, you have to develop tactics on how to approach enemies. Otherwise, they're going to get the best of you. Graphics. The arcade version is an absolutely beautiful game, and the range of colours is fantastic. The Mega Drive port is very faithful. It plays very much like the arcade version. And the range of colours is actually quite brilliant actually, and it looks really amazing. The sound. The sound effects are absolutely brilliant and it just it's really cool, but the most amazing thing about this game is the music. Every level has a distinct sort of theme song for it. And it just video game music is very important. You can have the world's greatest game, but you need something in the background to set the tone to really, to really fire up, to really get you into it.
Nah. Look, I've been playing this game for a very long time. I've played on so, so many different versions, and I, this is one of the earliest games I've ever played, and I feel it definitely left a mark on me. Not just a mark on me, but a mark on gaming in general. I mean, it's a shame that there hasn't been a sequel or a new new game to the series for a very long time, but I'm sure... I'm sure Capcom think about the series very much. I'm sure at some point they will definitely revisit it. Plus, the main character has also featured several times in Marvel vs. Capcom, especially in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Hmm. So, my final thoughts. This game is just awesome. Every game should at least, at least once in a life play this game. And I promise you, when you play this game, not only will you thoroughly enjoy it, you will not stop playing it. It is just it's just that good. Definitely gets the thumb approval. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.